welcome to another Real Life Food cooking segment. I'm Suzanne Monroe and today we're making carrot ginger salmon bites. What we're doing is starting with some wild caught salmon. Now if you're not eating salmon in your diet right now, this is a great thing to add in because it's full of omega-3 fatty acids. And what we know is that Americans are not getting enough omega-3s. We're focused on omega-6s, which are found in vegetable oils and many processed foods. So omega-3s from cold water fish is a great thing to add in. And what we've done is we've taken two fillets of salmon, skin removed, you can have it uh, removed at the store or do it on your own, and just break it up into a couple of uh, smaller pieces. This recipe is very simple. If you have a food processor, all you have to do is add your two fillets of salmon to your food processor. And we're going to pulse it a couple of times. We don't want to pulse, uh, we don't want to blend it up too much. We still want to have some small pieces. And we're going to add some more things to the food processor. We're adding one fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs. Look for whole grain breadcrumbs. That's what you want to use in this recipe. We want to focus on whole grains as much as we can. I'm also adding in a fourth of a cup of diced onions. You can, I'm using yellow onions. You can use white onions or red onions, whatever you prefer. And we're going to give that a quick pulse. And then next, I'm adding, going to add two cloves of garlic. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to actually mince garlic. A lot of people aren't quite sure what to do with garlic. First of all, we want to remove those two cloves. So we just get in there with our large knife and break off one clove at a time. And there's the other one. If you have a large knife, this is really easy to do. You've got that paper that's on the, on the clove. Take your large knife and just press down on the clove. You'll hear a pop. And the garlic is then removed, moved right from the paper. And then you can quickly chop it into the smaller pieces to mince it. And what that does is release all of those really wonderful healing benefits that garlic has. We don't want to use garlic that's in a jar. It um, has already lost all of those properties. This is a great dish that you can do quickly after work to make um, a great simple meal for the family. It's really an easy thing to do. We've added our garlic cloves and now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. I like to focus on the fresh whole ingredients, not buying the lemon that's in the little pretend uh, little lemon squeezed uh, squeezer. And then we've got one egg. We're using a cage-free egg, again, another great boost of omega-3s. And we're going to just beat that up really quick. Add that to our mixture. Combine a couple dashes of sea salt. And then we're just going to blend this all up again. Pretty simple. Now we have our salmon We'll call it our salmon batter. It's very simple. And all we're going to do now is form this into small patties. So we'll, we'll take a little small piece at a time. And actually, if you want to make these into salmon burgers, you can. Um, but we're making salmon bites, so they're going to be a little bit smaller. After you form each patty, what you want to do is, just to give it a little extra uh, crunch, is we're going to dip it in some sesame seeds, coating it on each side. And the next thing we're going to do is eat, heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a saute pan. And then what we're going to do is saute those for about two minutes, two minutes on each side. And meanwhile, while those are sauteing, I'm going to show you how to make a great carrot ginger sauce that we're going to put on top of these. This carrot ginger sauce is a great immune booster. We're starting with some carrots, actually just one carrot that we're going to chop up. I love carrots because they're very versatile and a lot of people are worried that they're high in sugar but what really is great about them because they have so much fiber and they are a sweet vegetable they help to reduce sugar cravings so they're a natural sugar and we're going to add them right into our little cup here that we're going to be using with an immersion blender first I'm going to cut up two green scallions I'm just going to discard the ends and cut these into small circles using both the whites and the greens carrot ginger sauce that we're making. What we're going to do next 
next is adding some fresh ginger. Look at this ginger root. It's absolutely huge. When you go to the store, you actually don't have to buy this whole thing. You can just break off the piece that you actually need and then um, use a small amount of it. It's usually what you're using in most recipes. Here we have a tablespoon of fresh ginger that I just minced. Ginger is definitely an immune booster. In fact, it was one of our oldest medicines that we used to have uh, before we had man-made medicines, and it was used to fight off infections. We just added our fresh ginger. Now I'm going to add three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're adding a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and then one teaspoon of tamari, which is a natural soy sauce, and then another teaspoon of sesame oil, which is going to give this whole dish with the tamari, the soy sauce, uh, the sesame oil, it's really going to give it a nice kind of Asian flair. We also want to add about a tablespoon of water to this mixture, and of course a little bit of sea salt. use a blender to do this. I'm actually using an immersion ham blender. Whatever you have at home would work great. And this is going to take just a minute to blend all this up. We have finished making our carrot ginger sauce. And this has such a kind of a sweet, tangy flavor, and it's going to go great over these little salmon bites that we've made. Those are definitely done. Let's go check on them. Here are our beautiful salmon bites. Well, they once we flipped them over, we pressed them down with our, our spatula and cooked them on both sides until those sesame seeds were toasted. About two, three minutes at the most. Two minutes is going to keep it a little more moist on each side. We're going to serve those up on our platter here. And then next, I'm going to drizzle each of these with a little bit of our carrot ginger sauce. And now what we have here are our carrot ginger salmon bites. Again, these are omega-3 rich, antioxidant boosting, immune boosting little snacks or perfect for a meal. Hope you enjoy them. Give them a try.